Hey people, I didn't feel like setting my lights up and stuff. Uh, just, just gonna just do a vlog here. Um, I, I made a decision last night that I it's kind of been a while in coming. Uh, I'm done with politics. Done with it. Uh, after all of the stupidity from both sides of the aisle, the hate, the the greed, the, the just all of it, just just the this is the lies from both sides, the the anger from both sides. I just am walking away from it. I'm just done with it. I I I can't handle it. I got too many things going on in my life. I I've got. My new job, which, you know, I'm now, I, I've, uh, I've worked 31 hours in the last three days. My body is killing me. My legs are killing me. You know, from, you know, my hips up, I'm fine. From my hips down, oh hell no. Uh, my legs are killing me. Uh, my back is twinging every once in a while. Uh, it's just not fun. Um, I, I'm having, I like my job. I really love this. I really love the cafe that, you know, the grill that I'm working for. Um, the, the food that we're producing, all of that. I really love it. Um, I, I'm, I, I, I just need to focus on that. Um, I I want to get back to focusing on the things that are important in my life. And politics is just not one of them. Um, I, I need to focus on the things that I care about. Um, and today was another kick in the ass because um, I had a really generous donator send me some money. And... I used part of their their money to buy this camera. Here's a problem. It sucks. It sucks horribly. You see this on eBay? Don't buy it. Okay? Don't. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money. It sucks horribly. The video quality is okay at best um i mean yeah it's you know it would work for what i'm doing on this channel um but the audio is just amazing it's so low and pathetic i mean this is this is not great the audio off of the the phone i have right now is not great the video quality is not great but it's leaps and bounds better than that piece of crap so, yeah, I, I went and did some research and found a camera that I want. Um, it's just going to cost me $250. And so once I get that, I still have to come up with $200, which for the amount of hours I'm working shouldn't be very hard. Um, I'm just, yeah, I, like I said, just with... You know, all the stuff that's going on, I need to focus on the things that are important. Um, I'm going to be deleting that video I did about uh, the about Clinton and uh, Trump. I really don't, just don't, it's not necessary. It's, an, uh, it's a non-necessary video now. I don't need it on my channel. Um, I... I, I'm just going to be focusing on the things that are important to me, and that's uh, my work, my relationship, or ships, um, my uh, <laughs> you know getting you know getting this channel looking better, um, the the play that I want to do, uh, the uh, building i want to start uh one of the things i want to buy in the future is a um 
a multi-tool uh, kit so I can build the St. Andrews and I want to take a, um, a sawhorse that you can buy at Lowe's uh, for 20 bucks and turn it into a functional spanking bench. Uh, that's more important to me than the poli and politics. I mean, I spent half of to you know half of the time I was on YouTube today. Anytime I would see a channel that was talking politics, I unsubscribed. I probably unsubscribed from probably. 40 or 50 different channels today just because I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to hear it. I mean, people that I really have enjoyed their content, I don't want to hear it anymore. Okay, I'd rather just focus on, you know, when I'm watching stuff on, on YouTube, uh, I want to either be educating myself and learning new things or I want to find something mindless and enjoyable that's it I don't care you know the world's gonna keep spinning regardless if I'm watching you know what's happening in Washington or not um, the world's gonna keep spinning regardless if I may state an opinion or not I really don't care unless it has direct effect on what's happening to my community to the kink community I don't care I don't Right now, you know, I've got um, two, you know, two stories that I want to to do. Uh, one being about the uh, the episode of the Big Bang Theory where they had a thirty second scene of um, a dream sequence of uh, two of the characters in a BDSM uh, sex room, uh, and then there's a story out of the UK about how uh, BDSM um, is making pe you know, people's uh, lives better. Uh, again, with what I read on that, all I said was no shit. <laughs> no shit. You know, between all the stories about mindfulness, uh, about creativity, about all of this stuff, no shit. It it's just, this is all stuff that is nothing new to somebody like me. This is all stuff I've known for years, and it's kind of it's now that they're catching up to what we're doing. And it's amazing that they're finally catching up to it. They're catching on to what we're finding, you know, to what we're doing. And honestly, I just sit back and go, tell me something new. You know, every time anybody does any research on, on our community... All of those things that they want to say about us, all the bad shit they want to say about us, turns out they're wrong. You know, the uh, thing with the Big Bang Theory episode is it's, uh, it's uh, that particular scene I talked about is being edited out of the show in the UK because they're scared of BDSM, regardless of the fact that kink is actually healthy. We all know this. This is not news to us. So... <laughs> You know, I mean, seriously, they, they first found out, hey, we're normal people, okay? And now they're finding out that not only are we normal people, but what we do is actually more beneficial than normal vanilla sex. No shit. Not a shock to me, not a shock to most of the people I know in the community. So, but like I said, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the the lies you know the next four years it's just going to be you know, liberals bitching about Trump and and the conservatives you know tooting their own horn and saying how great of a president he is and I just can't handle it I just can't handle the handle that you know I just spent the last eight years dealing with with Obama and hearing it from the other side I. You know, I spent eight years dealing with the Bush administration. When I first started this channel, he was right in the middle of the Bush administration and dealing with John Ashcroft going after um, the King community. I really hope I don't have to do that um, with the Trump community, with the Trump. And, and I mean, th let's just face a fact, okay? I mean, the reality is, is that, you know, that... Um, our our system is screwed up big time you know um i mean if if we had been by popular vote 
Hillary would be president. Okay, I think I'd still feel the same way if she won. I would just be, I'm just be done with it. I'm tired of all of the, all of the shit. But we we have a screwed up system, and I'm just tired of it. Okay, uh, Trump is there's just I think there's absolutely no way he's gonna get a second term, you, regardless. Because all it takes is somebody to come along who's a little bit more reasonable than he is and not hated like Hillary was, and he's out. And we're going to have just the next four years of just gridlock, you know, through through Congress and through the Senate and, you know, the whole nine yards. And we still got the Supreme Court to deal with, and I really am just tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just want to move forward with my life. I want this job to be, you know, all it can be. I want uh, my relationships to be good. I want to you know, enjoy, you know, all of the Marvel movies coming up, all the DC movies, all the comic book movies coming out. You know, I'm in the we're right in the golden age of comic books. I just saw Doctor Strange. It was great. Um, I, I just I'm like I said, I'm tired of it. So I'm moving forward. I hope people join me. Let's just, you know, focus on the good stuff and move on. So I've been rambling for 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes. So that's it for now. Be well and safe.